our next speaker, Shibata Hiroshi, a member of the Ruby Core team, Ruby Gems, Rake, Ardoc, Psych, Ruby Build, etc. Um, he is an administrator of Ruby, RubyLang. Dot org and supports to develop the environment of the Ruby language. He's also the executive officer of GMO Pepabo Inc. His most interesting things are productivity. Uh, he believes that uh, there's business value and fun. Team member happiness can make valuable products. Thank you. Okay, hello. So I'm very nervous. So always I feel nervous in English talks. So <laughs> hello, Ruby Gun Philippines. Uh, so this conference is my first time to attend the Philippines my university. So today I introduce the how to distribute Ruby to the world. So the secret of Ruby's story. So uh, first uh, I will introduce myself. So I'm a core team member of the Ruby programming language. So I maintain around the standard library and uh, a tool chain in Ruby languages. I focus on the Ruby file stuff, not the C files. So also I maintain a Lake and the Ruby gems and the Banda and the Ardoc and the Sake and the other surface. So and. Uh, I organized the Race Girls event in Japan. So I have we have uh, over the ten times events in Japan, Race Girls event. So I also maintain a uh, official site called uh, RubyLang.org. I operated all of these sites, uh, RubyLang and RubyCI and uh, Race Girls and Race Girls JP. So this, uh, this is a commit ranking in this year. So I'm a seventh. So this uh, five, fifth rank is a bot account or a linter. <laughs> so I'm, my rank is under the bot account. So also I'm a member of uh, SuccessRV. So uh, SuccessRV is a meetup around uh, Kanda and uh, Akihabara in Tokyo. We chat about uh, Ruby programming every Tuesday, every Tuesday. So when you come to Tokyo and with Tuesday, so please ping my Twitter account and, or hashtag of shop SuccessRV. So we will pick up you to our meetup. <laughs> so at first, I introduce who developed the Ruby language. Do you? Who developed the Ruby language? So do you know Ruby core team? Do you know? So I introduce people of Ruby core team. So we have uh, six full-time committers who sponsored Herc and the Money Forward and the Cookpad and the Speed. So Herc sponsored uh, Matt and uh, Nobu Nakada. Cookpad sponsored uh, Koichi Sasada and uh, Mameta uh, Yusuke Endo. So Money Forward sponsored uh, Shohei. And uh, Speed sponsored uh, Muraken, uh, Kenta Murata. So they are working to develop uh, C Ruby in daytime job. So Ruby commit number is uh, 95 people and the two bot account. However, kind of active commit are uh, about uh, 10 to 15 people. So they are branch maintainers. So we support uh, five branch of Ruby repository now. So the main branch version the 2.6 now. Stable branch is uh, 2.5 and 2.4. All the stable branch is uh, 
Finally, only security maintenance branch is uh, 2.2. So we will set Ruby 2.2 to uh, end of life status in this month. So if you use the Ruby 2.2, please upgrade to the Ruby 2.4 or 2.5. So these people, these people named Naruse-san and Nagachika-san and Usa-san you maintain uh, them. So moreover, we have a platform maintenance. So they maintain platform specific issue. So we support platform uh, Linux and Windows and BSD and uh, Solaris and Mac OS. So we are developing Ruby 2.6 now. So this is a time frame of Ruby 2.6. That will be released at the Christmas Day in this year. We've been released uh, Ruby 2.6 Preview 1. Did you try it? So Ruby 2.6 Preview 1 has a JIT compiler, just-in-time compiler called MZIT. So it still experimental status for improvement performance. It is still experimental. The author of MZ named Kokubun san is trying to improve her every day. So before Ruby Kai in Japan, we have a plan to raise a preview two. Preview two will have a Ruby Gems 3 and the improvement MZ infrastructure. Please wait till it's there. So we have a Ruby Kai 2018 at the May last and June 2nd at the Sendai City in Japan. So uh, many of Ruby commit uh, will attend this conference. So you can see deeply technical talks and uh, got the experience of cutting edge technical topics. So my talk is already accepted. So I will introduce uh, Ruby James 3 and Ruby James 4 in Ruby Kai 2018. So next topic is how to raise the Ruby core language. So it's a recycle of Ruby language. So we have the plan to release stable version on Christmas Day every year, every year. So in current status, we are developing to uh, Ruby 2.6. So Ruby 3, Ruby 3.0 targeted in 2020 Tokyo Olympic year. The slogan of Ruby 3 are Ruby 3 by 3 performance improvement and the soft typing and better concurrency. So we are developing now. So uh, one of the important things on language development is a backport process. I illustrated to backup process of the old version of Ruby. So we only backport to old branch front rank. So old, only from trunk to old branch. Because we do not apply our patch to trunk, patch to trunk branch from old version. We do not apply this. So because of you found some of the issue on old version Ruby, please try to the latest version of Ruby, like uh, Ruby 2.4 or 2.5 now. So the most recent version of Ruby still has the same issue. Please submit to our tracker. So we will fix and backport it to our old version. So we only handle backport issue on our red mine tracker, not the GitHub. So when you hope to backport specific issue, you need to create a backport ticket. We call it. A backport ticket best have a three rule. Three rule. So first one is a right to a revision or version number into a title section. 
Second one is a set status to close. It's so funny that our rule is set to close. So, in finally, so field to backport field to require. If, if you hope to backport to the Ruby 2.5 branch, you need to fill the 2.5 column required into a backport field. So we have a platform test suite named Ruby CI for taking care of compatibility each platform. So Ruby CI is a CI result collector for alternative platforms containing the uh, Linux and Windows and Mac OS and other stuff. So you can see uh, Ruby CI org in this result. So Ruby slash Ruby CI is a web application of our CI. It's a simple Rails application. It's very simple. So Ruby slash CHK check build is a CI utility of our CI. So these current repository are located on the GitHub. It, this is a current repository. So this is the UI of the Ruby CI. So we can detect a lot of build files using Ruby CI. It has two or three versions of three versions of every Linux distribution and BSD and Windows and Mac OS and Solaris and other stuff. So it is a top page of Ruby CI. So it shows platform and architecture and the build time and the branch and the revision and the test results. So we need to guarantee to all green status before release time. So in current uh, broken status, we do not release a new version. So I prepared server resources on Ruby CI by many of cloud resources. So we used uh, AWS and uh, Azure and uh, Google Cloud Pod, Google Cloud Platform and uh, DigitalOcean and uh, on-premise server for Mac OS and uh, OpenCSW for the Solaris environment. So when all of status on Ruby CI was green, so we can ship a new version of Ruby. We can ship it. So we build top package from a subversion repository use the tool slash make snapshot scripts in Ruby repository. So after that, we will put them to our FTP server. We have announced following resources. So first one is our official site and the RSS generated RSS field and post the list announcement to the mailing list. And Twitter account named uh, at rubylang.org. So we will announce them. So if you hope to information of a new release, so please subscribe to the, these resources. So next topic is the detail of security release. So security is very, very hard. So we are trying to handle security issues like our buffer overflow and the memory leak and the escape and the issue and the directory traversal and the other stuff. So however, we have no security specialist. So it, it is a best effort work because uh, all of the branch maintenance is a volunteer work. So we have uh, two channels to, for a security report. So first one is a simple mail address, security at the so if you found a uh, security vulnerability or other issues, so please submit a security report to this address with uh, encrypted, encrypted with a PGP. So do not report a public channel like uh, Twitter or GitHub or uh, our red mine. Uh, another channel is a hacker one. So we started to use our Hacker One in the last year. So Hacker One has a bounty program provided by IBB. So I recommend it to use it rather than our mail address because you maybe you can get a bounty. 
by the security reports. So security risk is a specific case of risk management. So why security risk is hard? So first one is because Ruby is an entirely open source software. So to fix the vulnerability needs to closed or private communication channel. So next hard stuff is the preparation of the disclosure process. So we need to assign CV number by myself and uh, make a draft or public announcement and complete it security patch. So we should avoid our regression with the security fixes. So the final stuff is a release day. So all of the release measures are volunteer. So we have to release uh, all version of Ruby at the same time. So we need to release uh, Ruby 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5 in the same time. It's very hard work. So next one is uh, web resources uh, Ruby languages. So I need to describe our official. So such as a source code package and website and development policy and other more. So our official is a much can control them. So on the other hand, these list items are not controllable by much, such as a ruby-doc.org. It's an unofficial documentation site and Ruby Gems and Bandra and Ruby version manager, RBM, RBM, Ruby. So we cannot take care uh, these software and web resources. So there are uh, official of Ruby languages. So www is a main, our official site. So we welcome to translate English to other languages. So it, it is located on the GitHub. So SVN, RubyLang.org, is a main repository of Ruby source code used by subversion, not the Git. We still use uh, subversion in 2018. Next, <laughs> 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 uh, official issue tracker built by Deadmine. Yeah, Bex RubyLang.org is an official hour. Tracker. So FTP, we still use FTP. <laughs> FTP is a website of package distribution. So this Ruby Langorgs is a official mailing list server built by Mailman. Docs are official documentation site. So I'm working about uh, these site reliability and web operations. So we are supported from the firstly for CDN. So www and the cache and the docs are distributed from firstly. Cache is a package distribution site. If you need to write this Ruby package, please use cache Ruby Langox instead of FTP Ruby Langox. FTP Ruby Langox is the origin server of the cache Ruby Langox. So it is a stat usage status of Fastly today. So USA and Asia and are uh, large ideas. We have a lot of sponsors of development Ruby languages I introduced. So these are Heroku and Fastly and NSEA and Microsoft. So Heroku provides an unlimited Dino resources for our website. So first it provides a CDN free plan for our website. NSCL provides a network and computer resources for our on-premise servers. So Microsoft provides a Azure environment and MSDN enterprise licensing. So we can support Windows environment with uh, Microsoft sponsorship. Thank you. So next to sponsors. So we got uh, these sponsors. So Ruby Association and Nihon Ruby no Kai and the Sway Research Laboratories. So Ruby Association provides a grant for our AWS infrastructure. Uh, Ruby, Nihon Ruby no Kai provides a Mac OS server 
and the grant money of Windows support with uh, Azure infrastructure. So we can support to Mac OS and Windows, including Ming Double environments, continuously by these sponsors. Thank you. So next one is RBM and Ruby build. So I did introduce how develop and uh, how read and how distribute Ruby language package. So I will describe that how build them. So Ruby was provided by binary distribution and the source package. So you can get the binary package by Ruby Installer 2 on Windows platform. On Linux distribution, you can install Ruby binary via package manager, like uh, Yumu or uh, Apto or DNF and Pacman and other stuff. So, but uh, binary package operating system is uh, not the latest versions, like uh, Ruby 2.3 or 2.4 or 1.8. When you hope to try latest or stable or development version, you need to download source and build them. When you hope to get source code of Ruby language, you can choose two stuff. This is different this is package and the source code. Package has a previous configuration contained the uh, transcode and the configure script by two chain build by genuine tools. So you do not need to build them with uh, genuine tools. In the other hand, so you need to genuine tools and Ruby for building from source code, like a git clone or server check checkout. So you need to, so I introduce, so you need to Ruby for build Ruby by build time. So these instructions are minimum set of Ruby languages, Ruby language builds. So it's only six command with build tools. So git clone or Ruby slash Ruby and see change directory Ruby and uh, invoke the auto conf and uh, configure script and make and make install. These instructions were simple. But if you need to install much versions of Ruby like uh, 2.5 and 2.4, these instructions not to take care of them. So we have support too for building for Ruby language from source code and packages. So RVM and RVM and CHRuby, I listed these specifications. So I'm also maintaining uh, RVM and Ruby build. So when Ruby core team released new versions, so I added its definition file on the same time. Therefore, you can use new versions of Ruby via Ruby build at the same time. I recommended it. So I introduced RVM and Ruby build in short way. So RVM and Ruby build was provided from the home view with a Mac OS or a Git clone instructions. After that, so you can install the all of versions of Ruby via one command like this. So RVM install 2.5.0. So it used by package. Ruby build also supports the development version like uh, 2.6. You need to add the hyphen dev suffix to version number. So you also can install with uh, build options like uh, Ruby hyphen underscore configure underscore opto equal blah blah blah. So hyphen hyphen disable, disable install doc. Uh, Avoid to generate and install documentation files. So it reduces uh, compile and build times. So, and you can install JRuby and Ruby News via the Ruby build. 
So like this RVM install JLB or RVM install RVX. Okay. So it is a, a Rust section is most exciting news. So I prepared the Git Ruby angles. So Git Ruby angles is the official Git repository of Ruby languages. So in this year, we start to migrate Git from a server version. So in current status, is a, it's a read-only read -only mode. So because we need to prepare the server configuration. So it's an experimental status. So we have these issues for migrating Git from server version. So first one is a tool chain. So we have a lot of package or development script for subversions. So we need to migrate these script at first. So second one is a uh, environment or issue tracker. Our issue tracker worked on Heroc, Heroc Dynos. So because Redmine needs to a uh, local file Git repository, Redmine is not to support to a remote Git repository. We need to make or build or develop a Git remote support to our Redmine. So uh, finally, a big issue is that we have no strategy for migration process. So, but it's resolved now. So because I did uh, illustrate it to a Ruby developer team, Ruby core team. So in the past, we couldn't use Git instead of server version. So we got uh, many developers. Why don't Ruby core team use GitHub? Why don't Ruby core team use Git? Why, why every Ruby guy? <laughs> <laughs> so I answer about the GitHub questions now. So because Matt only available let mine, He's, he didn't confirm or check GitHub every day. So we should keep to, uh, next one is uh, we should keep to diversity for the free software people. So some free software people say, so I can't use GitHub because it's not software, free software. So we need to our Git repository without a GitHub. So it is uh, my migration process. So we migrate a tool chain like a package script to a git from server version at first. So next one is uh, we will save Ruby package from a git Ruby language. Yes. Next one is uh, we will accept write commit on git Ruby language. It's time so we change to canonical repository to a git Ruby language. So in final one is uh, we will accept to merge pull request on GitHub and the sync to uh, Git Ruby Langos. It's our final goal in this year or next year. <laughs> so we will work it. So that's all. So I'm Hiro Shibata. So I'm from Tokyo, Japan. So I'm also executive officer at the GMO Paperball. So GMO Paperball has uh, many web services like uh, shared hosting and domain registration and e-commerce service. So GMO Paperball sponsored my accommodation cost and travel fee for the RubyCon Philippines. So thank you, my colleagues and my boss. Thank you, GMO Paperball. So it is a photo of a developer meeting in Tokyo. So. This guy is Max, you know? He is the creator of Ruby languages. So, and uh, next man is uh, Kokumun san. He is also a JIT compiler in Ruby 2.6. And uh, Shohei san and Koichi san is a full time committer of uh, Ruby languages. 
So, Koichi-san tried to make a Ruby better concurrency in 2.6 or 3. So, Ekyaru-san and Narsu-san and Nobu Nakada-san and Muraken. Muraken is uh, developed to a scientific library like uh, NumPy or Pandas or TensorFlow. So, he is ported to a Ruby world from Python world. And the most of us front of Ben is uh, Akira Matsuda. He is a uh, chief, chief organizer of Ruby Kai and uh, Ruby and Rails core member. So we are working toward to Ruby 3 and we, we had to work it. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have time for uh, perhaps just one question before we move to uh, birds of a feather. <laughs> uh, please pick up uh, me if you have a question in, uh, after time. Thank you. Thank you very much.